Welcome back to the morning show. We have two pets on the set today. Terry Fields from Hospice Hearts is here. Good morning. Good and morning. this is Courtney. Thank you both for being here. Thanks for having us. Yeah. Uh, so who'd you bring? We have an abundance of cats that are trying to find their forever home. Courtney is uh, fostering these two. This is Buddy. And this is Rascal. Yeah, so and tell I'm us gonna, about I'm going to let Courtney <laughs> tell you all about them. So these are brothers, but they're not bonded, so they can be adopted separately. Gotcha. And their names kind of say it all. Buddy's very social, wants to see what's out there, wants to see what's new. Can Lap be a, cat. Yeah, you know, is just very dog friendly too. Mm -hmm. uh, I think gets along with everyone, other cats, other dogs, other humans. Rascals. More of a shy guy, but still dog friendly. He gets yeah. along with my 15 pound Jack Russell Terrier. <laughs> so. so that's a plus. Yeah, I mean, Jack Russells are a handful, right. and they can both handle my dog. So So that is a good sign. Mm -hmm. Sure. So it is uh, literally raining cats over at Hospice Hearts right now. <laughs> yes, it is. Uh, no dogs. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we just get out, got in a couple of dogs. We do have, uh, we have so many cats right now, we've had to uh, close down admissions for cats. Uh, so we are looking for uh, forever homes for about 19 cats, mm -hmm. and we also need more foster homes for cats, uh, especially when the students are gone. Yeah. We, we really kind of run out of those, and so we also have to delay admission for that. And uh, so if you're interested, please go online, hospicehearts.org, fill out an application to be a foster, and we'll be in contact with you. Absolutely. So, Courtney, how long have you been a foster for? Oh, I've been with Hospice Hearts for about a year and a half now. Mm -hmm. I've been fostering with them, but these are kind of my first cats with Hospice Hearts. Yeah. I've been fostering dogs for a long time. So what has it been like being a first-time cat foster? Um, it's very interesting. You know, I've always been more of a dog person, but I'm learning slowly, you know, how cats are. There is a learning curve mm -hmm. there. there yeah. A slight learning. They don't like their belly rubs. No. Learn that real learning. quick. Yeah, you, you learn that the hard way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, but these guys are ready to be adopted today. You know, they're they're ready to go, right? Yeah, they they are. They're fully vetted. They're also front to clawed. Uh, okay. No major health issues. Just regular. They're 12 years old. Uh, came to us when their owner actually tripped over them and was injured and had to go into the nursing home. Gotcha. So, um, not that they wanted to be rid of them, but she just was not able to care for them any longer. Understandable. So, so they are brothers technically, for of twelve years, but they're but they're not attached to each other. Right, yeah. right. They can be yes. they can be adopted together or separately. If you want a bonded pair, we have several of those as well. Uh, very nice cats. So go online and take a look. Gotcha. And y'all always have all kinds of things going on at Hospice Hearts. So. We we what is do. new? We do. Uh, this afternoon, we're going to be, I better take my cheat sheet out yep. here. Yep, look at the cheat sheet. We, we're going to be in, uh, let's see, Market at the Square this Saturday in Urbana. And then on Sunday, um, we're going to be have our volunteer meeting. So please, please come on out. We have a lot of things that we need to get done. We need all the volunteers we can get. And then Friday, August 9th through 11th, uh, we're going to have our catnip dispensary in Gordyville. And that's been pretty popular lately. It has been very popular. And in fact, we're scrambling right now to refill all of our catnip dispensary because we're, we're just about sold out over the weekend. Very good. And Courtney, what kind of a home do you think would be ideal for either one of these? You know, you kind of mentioned before, but uh, are they both good with dogs for the most part? Or? Yes, they're both good with dogs. Uh, Buddy can take on any dog. I have an 85-pound golden mix, too, that they all get along with. Rascal would probably like a more just small dog Smaller environment dogs. and, you know, maybe wants to be the only cuddle bug in the house. <laughs> well, let's give these guys a home. Thank you both so much. Thanks, Thank sir. you.